So today I'm gonna to be riding the Tico streetcar here in Tampa. The first one just pulled up right over there and I'm gonna miss that one, but I'll end up catching the next one. The frequency isn't great. It's about every 15 minutes, but I'll show you a bit of the station to start. So yeah, I had to wait about 15 minutes before the next trolley came by. So let's get into the history of the system. Tampa had a streetcar network from 1885 up until about the late 40s when it was removed for bus services. <coughs> GM streetcar conspiracy. However, in the late 90s, Tampa wanted to do a bit of downtown revitalization and also improve connection between this entertainment district of Ybor City to its downtown neighborhood of Channelside. And thus, in the year 2002, the Tico streetcar was born. In terms of the system's rolling stock, or what trolleys the system currently uses, you might think the fleet is entirely made up of historic streetcars that have been refurbished to use from the 1920s. But most of the streetcars that operate on the trackage are actually replicas. Eight of them are replica burning cars, which are based off the old streetcars that operated in Tampa. They have a replica open benched car called the Breezer, and these were all constructed by the Gamaco Trolley Company based out of Iowa. The system does, however, have the only operational Tampa and and Florida in general streetcar from the 1920s. Bernie number 163 was found in the 90s being used as a storage shed, before nearly 10,000 hours of restoration work saved it for operational use. Let's have a look at the station. This one's fairly standard right near the Amelie Arena, and as you can see it's covered, it has seating, and is ADA accessible. This is pretty common along the entire system, as all the stations have this kind of setup. Now that I've boarded, let's take a look inside. I'm in one of the Bernie replicas, so this is one of the more standard options that you'll see on the Tico streetcar. The interior of these trolleys look like the 1920s. They're all wood all around them. In terms of the ride quality you'll see on board these trolleys, they're fairly smooth, but due to the older styling, and even the fact that they're still about 20 years old, the ride's gonna be a bit noisy, and it's not gonna exactly be the fastest ride being on these streetcars even though they have their own dedicated trackage. One major downside of the system is that it does not have AC, which really does suck in a lot of cases, this being Florida, and especially in the summertime. However, the system does have fans on board and the windows can be opened and they usually are left open. However, in terms of views, you're really gonna have to scrunch your head down because the dots that advertise ads to keep the system running on the outside of the trolleys are also blocking the interior views. The seating with the wood benches on board is perfectly fine for the kind of short rides you're going to use on this system. As well, for your convenience, there's a little pull cord that alerts the driver of your next stop coming up. Ever since about 2018, the system has been operating fare free, meaning that ridership has spiked incredibly high during this time. They used to charge a $2.50 fee, however in 2018 additional funding from the Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT known for short, came in to cover these fees. In terms of system expansion, there already was a short expansion in 2010 that extended the line north from Dick Greco Plaza Station in 2010 up to downtown Tampa Station. Hopefully the downtown Tampa Station gets some sort of renaming, because it's likely that the system will see some sort of expansion or modernization into light rail. Future expansion plans have included extending the line further to the north of downtown and even upgrading the system to become a light rail connection with the airport. This will depend on future funding though, and hopefully Tampa can get some actual light rail service with actual modern light rail vehicles that, I don't know, maybe have some air conditioning. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you want to support me on other platforms, I also have an Instagram and a TikTok as well. And if you'd like to see your name in these credits, go follow me on Patreon, link down below as well. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.